A team of Boy Scouts in Charlotte are being forced to start from scratch after a thief stole their troop supplies. Six News reporter Luke Snyder spoke to the group today. He's here for you now with their mission to get back what they lost and how the community has stepped up to help. For nearly two decades, John Eggleston's worked to lead Boy Scouts in Charlotte as a scout master. We've opened the opportunity for these guys to see that there's a lot more in life than beyond their little little town here. But when he and his team, Troop Number 1108, showed up yesterday to meet outside St. Mary's Catholic Church, he noticed something wasn't right. At some point in time over the last couple of weeks, someone decided to uh, come in and help themselves to our scout trailer, which uh, we stored here. It had uh, all of our gear in it for camping and, and frankly for all of our ceremonies and everything, our, our flags, everything. Leaving him and his scouts feeling? Total disbelief. I mean, who would think that somebody would take a scout trailer for one and from a church parking lot? I spent my own money, like own tent money, stuff like that, invested my own money into that. Boy Scout trailer, like I help fix it up, help put new tires and stuff on it. Along with losing everything they had, it's also right before they're supposed to camp and be the official fire tenders at next weekend's Nordic Festival. All the stuff that we had in the trailer is the stuff we use for that. So everything from our tents to various sleeping bags, all our cooking gear, um, we'll be fishing gear. There's just so much it's hard to even uh, to enumerate it all. For years, this group has served Charlotte. Now the community is stepping up to help them. Something parents say means everything because of what this team of scouts means to their kids. Donations, friends, local friends of mine bringing things to my house, and it's been it's been very heartwarming to say the least. Right now, the troops have an Amazon wish list online of supplies they need. They say donations can be dropped off at St. Mary's Catholic Church. They're also working to set up a fundraiser for early March. We have that list up of items on our Scene on 6 section on WNS.com. Here for you in Charlotte, Luke Snyder, 6 News.